Today on Cabela's Deer Gear TV, we're going to easily install some new high-vis sights. Then we'll highlight the TC Compass rifle. And finally, we'll feature the Cabela's line of optics and go on a hunt. All that and more here on Cabela's Deer Gear TV. We are starting off this episode at the range with our guest Trevor Young from High Viz Shooting Systems. Well, High Viz was started in 1996, so we're over 20 years in business now. After our first sight, uh, you know, back in 1996, um, slowly fiber optic sights started to become more mainstream and, and uh, you started to see them show up on a lot more firearms. Uh, as the benefit of the sight was seen, um, need for sites for other applications grew quite quickly and we've tried to uh, meet that need with uh, you know innovative products um, products that are unique and, and have features that are not like other companies make you know the our ability to mold our fiber mold our light pipes uh, we can make shapes we can make triangles uh, squares we can just mold them and make them into products um, that that other companies just can't do so we've just tried to uh, innovate and uh, create products that better serve the customer and make them a better shooter. Our line of handgun sights is what has really expanded in the last 10 to 12 years. Uh, in the last 10 years, it's over doubled the applications that we make for handguns. Uh, we make a variety of styles of handgun sights. We make uh, front and rear for many guns, uh, for revolvers and some other applications. We, only, you know, we just make fronts. Many of them have interchangeable light pipes. Uh, we now make the LightWave H3, which is a tritium and fiber optic handgun sight. Uh, we have those available for about eight different brands of guns or makes, uh, and we'll be adding to that this year, even by the end of the year. With the growing popularity of fiber optic sights on handguns and revolvers, Trevor will walk us through how easy it is to install your own pair of high-vis sights. Well, this is a 460 Smith & Wesson. Uh, which came with our fiber optic sight on it. Uh, and the sight mounting arrangement is what they call the DX style sight. So it has a pin through it, but it also has a spring loaded plunger mechanism. So to remove the sight, you simply pull the nose of the sight backwards and lift up and the sight comes out. So we're going to replace the fiber optic sight with our new LightWave H3, which is tritium and fiber optic. So it has a tritium capsule that's embedded inside the fiber optic or inside the light pipe. And then you have the light pipe exposed. And then on the beating end, we also have a white ring around it. <clears throat> We're gonna install this in the Smith & Wesson X-Frame. And this has the DX type uh, sight mount, which has a spring plunger and a pin arrangement to it. So to install these sights, you take the back end of the sight and hook it onto the plunger and then push it down. That's as easy as it is to change. Several Smiths come with this type of arrangement, not just the X-Frame. And we make different heights of sights uh, that will go on any of those. So any Smith & Wesson that has that DX type style sight, we, will, we have fiber optic available. We now have the LightWave H3. Here we have an example of our LightWave fiber optic sights. These particular sights come with different colored light pipes. You can interchange the colors. They come with, the fronts come with green, red, and white. The rears come with green, red, and black. I want to show you how easy it is to change light pipes on our sights. We ensure that this firearm is unloaded. I'm going to drop the slide. This is the light pipe tool. It both removes and installs or disengages and installs the light pipes, and it holds the extra light pipes. How we remove the light pipes is we use this projection on the end of the tool. You want to place it on the muzzle end of the light pipe, push slightly down and rearward to disengage the light pipe. The light pipe simply comes out of the sight. To reinstall a light pipe, simply insert it from the rear. And on handgun sights, we recess the head of the light pipe to prevent a halo image on the, on the sight. So I like to use the tool or the projection end again to push on it and just push it until it fully seats and locks. The rear sights are changed in the exact same manner. Use the tool, push down slightly and backwards to remove the light pipe. Light pipes come out, 
then insert it. Use the tool to push forward until you hear it lock in place or it fully seats. Simple to change, easily replaceable. It's a unique feature about Hi-Viz is that since we mold our light pipes, we're able to make them in different colors. We're able to make them removable, replaceable, and reusable. So if you want to change colors, you take out the red and insert the green. The red are still usable. You can change them back. If one breaks, you can always contact us and get extra light pipes. We have light pipes available for virtually every site we've ever made. We also include black light pipes with our rear sights. Many people like to have the rear sight just blacked out. Instead of buying a separate rear sight, you can simply remove the fiber optic and install the black light pipes. We also include a white light pipe with the front sight. Sometimes in certain lighting conditions, especially indoor ranges, fiber optic can be hard to see if they don't have enough light. Uh, inserting a white light pipe in the front can help in those situations. Hi Viz, we have uh, handgun sights available for many makes and models. If you want some more information, give us a call or contact us on our website. Deer Gear is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Yamaha's proven off-road ATVs and side-by-side -side vehicles. Garmin Zero Bow Sight. Leave the guesswork behind. As people who love the outdoors, we know what we stand for. We stand for fish, wildlife, and conserving the places they call home. We stand for the traditions we inherited and that we must pass on. We stand for great gear, fair prices, expert service, and memorable experiences. At Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's, we stand together for you. The all new Yamaha Wolverine X2. With a compact chassis, perfect for exploring tight technical terrain. An ultra quiet and smooth 850 class twin cylinder engine. And next level versatility with a 600 pound dumping cargo bed. No other side by side delivers this level of proven off road performance. The all new Wolverine X2 from Yamaha. In the year 2018, Yamaha introduced the Wolverine X4. It's a four-seat side-by-side, most off-road capable four-seat side-by-side in its class. Specifically, when you get into tight technical terrain, it's compact chassis, um, all-new 847cc parallel twin-cylinder engine, smooth, quiet, comfortable. I mean, that's in a nutshell what it is. It'll go places you wouldn't expect a four-seat vehicle to go, um, and then It'll do it better than any other four-seat vehicle out there. Uh, we like to say Yamaha uh, side-by-sides are proven off-road for a variety of reasons. One is off-road capability is at, the, is at the top of what we want to achieve when we, when we build these ATVs and side-by-sides. And number two, we want to build in a level of comfort and confidence uh, that, that enable you to go places without being freaked out. You know, get to those places where you want to go, places you want to reach, scouting, hunting, just epic adventure type stuff and get you back. Um, thanks to the durability and reliability, we build into these things proven off-road. I mean, we hold ourselves to a standard far above the competition. Uh, we don't build vehicles to be comfortable on a showroom floor. We don't build vehicles to be tanks so that they're so unbreakable you can't stand the ride in an off-road environment. I mean, these things have to have the sum of all their parts be the best. And again, that's why we think Yamaha's ATV and side-by-sides are proven off-road, and the Wolverine X4 is a perfect example. Check out the Yamaha Wolverine X4 at YamahaOutdoors.com or your local Yamaha dealer. Now let's hear from Danielle Sandville about Thompson Center's TC Compass. In my hands I have the new Thompson Center Compass Rifle. We launched this about two years ago and just recently added the 6.5 Creedmoor in this gun. So now we go from 204 Ruger all the way up to 300 Win Mag. Some of the great features about this gun, you can see they already come threaded. So on this one, we're actually featuring a Gemtech tracker. This is an 11 ounce suppressor and it, um, it goes for about 599 MSRP. Um, if you choose not to suppress this, you could actually put a muzzle brake or a comp on here, or it does come with a thread protector on it. So if you choose not to do anything, you can just leave that thread protector on there comes with two standard threadings. Also, the barrels come with 5R rifling. So our 5R rifling helps with the accuracy. 
basically it decreases the amount of fouling in the bullet deformation and really helps with accuracy and keeps your um, barrel great. In addition, this is a free float barrel and we are offering a minute of angle guarantee with this. So with premium ammunition and a good rest, we are saying you can get three shots, 100 yards guaranteed to be in an inch in diameter or under. This does come with the bases already on this, so all you have to do is get some rings and a scope and you're ready to go. In addition, it does come with a rotary magazine. Our rotary magazines fit five in the rotary magazine, except in our two Magnum calibers, which you fit four. Comes with a 60 degree bolt lift, so if you are gonna scope this up, you don't have to worry about any scope clearance issues. A three position safety, so you have your fire, you have your safe position where you can manipulate the bolt but not pull the trigger, and then you have your bolt lock position as well. This does come with an integrated cheek piece on here, and in addition to that, it does have some great texturing on here. So if it's cold or wet, you do have something to hold on to with this gun. So a lot of gun for the money, this MSRP is for $399. So if you're interested in a new bolt action rifle, anywhere from 204 Ruger to 300 Win Mag, go to tcarms.com for more information. Deer Gear is brought to you by Thompson Center, America's master gun maker. Stealth Cam, proven. Walkers, protect it or lose it. And by Conquest Sense, hunting and dog sense. How do you aim a 36 yard shot with a 30 yard fixed pin at a 15 degree angle? with a seven inch holdover without moving a single pin easy you get one of these zero the auto ranging digital bow sight from garmin when they canceled school today you could have stayed at home like all the other kids laid up on the couch playing video games in your sweatpants. Nah. Best snow day ever. Introducing the new TC Compass only by Thompson Center. Follow your own compass with America's master gun maker. We plan all year for this. We hone our skills. We have confidence in the gear we choose. We pour over thousands of images and videos. When the time comes, will you be ready? Introducing the all-new 4K camera by Stealth Cam. Proven. Many said that we were just obsessed when we started. That there had to be an easier way to smoke food. As time passed, the Bradley family created a lineup of Bradley electric smokers that has made it easier for the novice or even expert chef to get perfect results every time they use it. Grab yourself a Bradley smoker and take your cooking to an all new level. Jeremy Boone from Cabela's has been invited to deer camp and he's brought along something new from Cabela's, the Cabela's Instinct line of rifle scopes. So the Instinct line is, is Cabela's premium line of optics. They provide the, the highest end performance you can possibly get at a price point that was previously unattainable for that kind of product. So. Um, it's, it's European made optics, comparable to your other high-end European optics, but at far less of a price. It's really a value proposition, and for the whole system, it's all, you know, HD optics, great lens coatings, extreme durability. It's, it's something you can count on no matter where you're hunting or what you're hunting. Um, it's something we're pretty proud of. It's a program we've had around for a while now. We've made some, some tweaks to it over the years, and and really happy with where it's at. And um, it's performed great, and I can tell you that a lot of people have taken a lot of great animals with it. And it's, it's proven itself in the field time and time again. 
You know, Cabela's has long been known as the world's foremost outfitter. And when you look at the halls of the people that work at Cabela's, I mean, they're people that, they get outdoors. Uh, you know, they don't just sit behind that desk and look at numbers. I mean, there's some diehard hunters in that company, diehard outdoorsmen, diehard sportsmen. People that, that not only know the, the product's specifications from a retail standpoint, but they know from experience how it works in the field. And the optics is one of those arenas and areas that to me that that's just so important because when I look at optics, I demand performance, I demand durability, I, I demand something that's going to be able to withstand a harsh environment and, and use, not, not looking for something, I don't care how pretty it is, I want the inner workings to be, be there for me, I want them to perform when I need them, uh, no matter what I've put it through leading up to that time. The Instinct scopes are great for a few reasons, and one being, of course, the price point as compared to the quality. And really, the optical quality is, is what stands it out as top of the line. The, the low light performance really is almost unmatched, and you know, you have no, no worries that, that you'll be able to see your target when it's the most important time of day. And then You've got other features just like we've done with the, you know, the outside of it. It's just a good looking scope, it's sleek, it, it, it looks good on the gun, and it's not something that's going to get in the way, it's, but it, it's a good complement to any good rifle. Knowing that this line is the top of the heap when it comes to optics, but more consumers going to afford it, that's something that we're really excited about. Well, now Jeremy is all sighted in, so when we return, he'll head out for his first hunt. Want to learn more about Cabela's Instinct line of optics? Head on over to your local Cabela's or visit their website at cabelas.com. Deer Gear is brought to you by 10 Point Crossbows. Perfection lives here. Hi Viz. See what you've been missing. And by Quick Draw Mineral Blocks. A difference you can see. Introducing the Stealth NXT, the narrowest and most accurate 10 point crossbow ever. Measuring an ultra narrow six inches wide, the Stealth NXT unleashes devastating speeds up to 410 feet per second, generating jaw dropping kinetic energy and match grade downrange accuracy, all on a whisper quiet shot, three times quieter than the competition. The all-new Stealth NXT from 10 Point. take to make Evercom deer scent? It takes a deer farmer who raises whitetails. It takes mixing the special blend of Evercom, testing each batch. That smells good. And then pouring each container. Once it's cooled, each container is cleaned, examined, and packaged for shipping. It takes the finest deer herd and a great team of people to make the best hunting scent available. Evercom from Conquest Scents. High Viz Shooting Systems knows that your shooting performance matters in all conditions. All High Viz shooters experience faster target acquisition with our durable light wave sights. Featuring easily interchangeable light pipes, light wave sights give your eyes the exact sight picture you crave. Shoot High Viz. See what you've been missing. Ingles got the original high performance cooler and a whole lot more. Ingle coolers go with the original. 
at Sawyer, we use the best technology to make simple products that keep you going regardless of your journey. So whether you're boating, hiking, fishing, camping, or hunting, we keep you outdoors with a full lineup of products to both protect you and make the outdoors more enjoyable. Sawyer, we keep you outdoors. Jeremy is hunting a food plot and has a nice 10 point in his sights. But another buck could scare him off. We probably didn't have long to make a decision on whether or not we would shoot. And I think we both decided pretty quickly that it was worth taking a shot at. It seemed to get like he was going to get a little finicky and we didn't want to wait around and see what was going to happen. So. Um, I would say within a minute of that 10 point coming into the, our field of view, we had to make a shot on him or he might've got chased out of there before we had a chance to do anything about it. Nice looking deer, he's good and tall on the back, he's kind of grabs on the front. Good solid 10 point though. We've seen a lot of deer coming through. We had about 30 of them by the time we got it all said and done. And uh, had a real nice seven point, three on one side and four on the other. It was milling around all night and uh, he kept tempting us, going broadside right in front of us. We were waiting to see if one of the 10 points would come out. Finally, here about half an hour before, uh, before shooting lights up, one of the 10 points came out of the, the woods, scraping the trees, and got that seven point all uh, riled up. They were both back there scraping the trees, and uh, it popped out and took a good look at him. We saw pictures of him earlier, and uh, put a shot on him about a couple minutes later. So it was looked like we got a, a pretty good double lung shot, and so we had uh, good frothy blood right there at the beginning and, and pretty consistent blood right at the beginning. Um, it wasn't anything where we had to wait a whole, whole heck of a long time. We, um, we were able to get right on him, had solid blood every few steps. There's last blood back behind that tree there. Looks like we got a dead deer right up here. You can barely see him through the trees here. Looks 
looks like he didn't make it too far. It's a heck of a deer. We sat there looking at that seven point all night. Said, no, we better wait and see if one of those five by fives comes out. We made a shot on him pretty quick within about a minute of him showing up. And he jumped up and it's pretty awkward, worried that the shot wasn't in the right spot, but he must have been all jacked up from seeing that seven point and getting ready to go at it. That he took off through the trees, but he didn't make it near as far as originally guessed. And Put a good, good shot on it. Couldn't be happier. It's an awesome deer. It's pretty symmetrical on both sides. Rubbed off one of them brows a little bit, probably beating up on a little guy. He's got nice crabs on the end of them, both sides. Sweet deer. I had all the confidence in the world in optics and in my rifle after sighting it in. It's more in that case than it's just, you know, it's on me to take the shot. You know, there's only one one person to blame or one thing to blame when it goes wrong, when you know that you've got a good setup like like I had. There's no question that the optics are going to be on. The rifle scope's going to uh, be aimed where it's supposed to be. It's all, then it's on the, the shooter to make sure it happens. So uh, that's one good thing about having a good setup like that and having something like the instinct rifle scope is you're not you're not questioning your equipment when you're going to take the shot and that takes away a lot of your your nervousness when you pull the trigger um, there's only one person and one thing that can mess it up and that's you in that case Purina's Quick Draw is the perfect solution for attracting deer to your location and providing them with the essential nutrients that will encourage their growth. Use these blocks where you can and I promise you, not only are you going to see more game, but the game's going to benefit from you placing it out. Protect it or lose it. 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 When I was in special ops, every item had a purpose or it got left behind. It's no different today. If it doesn't protect me or help me perform at the highest level, I've got no use for it. Otherwise, I don't come back with whatever it is I set out to get. Wiley X, ballistic rated eyewear.